hello everyone welcome to my channel um, I'm a new youtuber and I'm just starting so this is my very first video so yeah we have a new hijabi a new hijabi vlogger yay! new hijabi youtuber yay! so yeah um, I'm a big fan of a lot of the Muslim youtubers out there like Ada Aslan um, Naima K Naima Wazuki who else um, Ms. Nina uh, there's just so many there's just so many people out there that I'm a big fan of and so I decided to start start my own channel I've been meaning to do this for a long time and I've just been very afraid basically to do it so yeah so I'm here and I hope that I will get a warm welcome from from all of you and I hope that you know it'll be something that you're interested in and we can have lots of dialogue but yeah I'm a little nervous but anyway so yeah so um I'm just sitting here at the park right now because I really enjoy being in nature. I think at this time with all of the whole coronavirus and quarantines and not just that. Uh, woo, look at that. The wind is blowing my wind is blowing my, my beautiful uh umbrella here. Maybe hopefully it'll stay, but I might have to close it. But anyway, regardless. Uh, pop it up. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, 2020 has been interesting to say the least and you know, I just feel that right now is the time that we really need to take the time to look out for ourselves, look out for our Iman. Iman means faith. For those of you who are maybe not familiar with some of the Arabic terminology that I may use, um, I will try to explain it if I can remember to do so. But yeah, right now is definitely a time to, you know, take the time to actually reflect while everything is slowed down, while everything is, um, you know, well, I won't say calm because there's a lot going on. There's definitely a lot going on within the media and then with, with, within just everyday life. But nevertheless, um, it's a good time if you're able to, to slow down, take time for yourself, time for your mental health, to de-stress, to get out in nature. Nature is so healing and it's very, very important. And so we should definitely take the time to get out in um, in nature and be reminded of the beauty and of the creation uh, of Allah, basically, because Allah has created everything in this whole world, and it's a reminder to us. Sometimes people can get, you know, discouraged and frustrated because things are going wrong, and it may be calamity after calamity, trial after trial after trial, and it's very difficult. But we also have to remember that through those tri trials, not only do they make us stronger and also humble us, you know, they also help to humble us. But we have to remember that just by reflecting upon the, you know, the beauty of the creation of Allah, it reminds us, it reminds us that, wow, you know, Allah does actually love us. Because when you think about it, how many different species of butterflies are there? How many different varieties of flowers? Do we really need that for our survival? No. If Allah did not care about us, he did not have to make this world beautiful. He could have given us just basic water, food, and that's all you need to make an air, you know, basically to survive. And that's all you need. But he didn't do that. He gave us so much, so many things that we can just, just go wow, basically. <laughs> I remember years ago, there was a young lady that I knew. She had a book on butterflies, and she was she let me look through it with her. And she's just flipping the pages like, wow, look at all these butterflies. And I'm looking at them, and each butterfly had a very distinct pattern. And there were thousands, thousands of variety and species of varieties and species of butterflies, which is absolutely amazing. See, even the umbrella is blown away at how amazing the butterfly is. <laughs> butterflies are so um yeah so that's one thing that we have to remember that when we're going through trials and we're going through hardships it's not to pun well sometimes it can be to kind of punish us but it's always a loving punishment you know it's 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 with love to help us correct ourselves but we have to remember that the beauty that we experience is a blessing and nature if we take the time to actually appreciate it if we take the time to actually get out in nature we will see how healing and how much of a benefit it actually is so one thing i hope i'm not talking too fast because i'm nervous and i haven't really done this before but one thing that i wanted to share with um with everyone is that 
um, you know, there are ways that you can take that time for yourself, for your own mental health, and to just be in nature and to be calm and to just meditate and to ponder and to think. And this is something that actually as Muslims we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take that time to actually ponder about our life, about the wonders of Allah, about uh, our deeds, all kinds of things that we are supposed to um, just sit and ponder about. And there's um, one effective way that, uh, at least for me, it helps me um, when I'm maybe faced with a dilemma or some type of some type of hardship that I'm going through and I don't have an answer or you know a direction of what to do at the moment. What I like to try and do is find a quiet spot. Sometimes that in itself is a challenge. You have to get away from the lawnmowers and you have to get away from the dogs barking and the music and the, the sirens from you know uh, ambulances and all those types of things. But beyond that, once you find that quiet spot, okay, then you just basically sit. You sit quietly and you don't try to force any thoughts. You don't try to force to clear your mind. You don't try to force to concentrate on anything. And you definitely do not try to force to actually come up with a solution to whatever that problem is. Even though it may be a big problem, don't try to force it. You basically sit silent. You sit silently and you let your mind just kind of wander. And the funny thing is you'll find that the first thoughts you have are basically just basic things that run in your head. Oh, I hope I, you know, did, I, I've got to remember to do this. And I hope I didn't forget to do this. And oh yeah, this is due and this deadline, that kind of, those kind of tasks, you know, because you're just unwinding. So those type of tasks will just continually be in your head for a little while. But once you get past that, just let your mind just wander. After that, you'll start to take notice of your surroundings. And this happens organically and naturally. You don't even have to look, think about the stages. It just happens if you're, if you're actually present in that moment. Then you'll start to notice your surroundings. You're like, oh, that's an interesting bird call. Oh, what is that little bird doing in that tree over there? Huh? You'll start to notice your surroundings, just little, you know, things that you happen to catch. Okay, give it some time. And then after that, you'll start to actually start thinking maybe it's reminiscing of oh yeah I remember when I used to do that or wow whatever happened to that person you know a friend of mine that I lost contact with a while back so you'll start to remember those type of things give it some time and then what starts to happen is the very thing that you that was stressing you the very thing that was on your mind that that was on your heart basically it will come to the surface all on its own and as you start to think of that, sometimes a, de a solution will develop, not all the time, sometimes you may not even have a solution, but what you will start to do is to actually think of how you can cope with it, how you can get by, what are some positive things, what things you can be grateful for, even in spite of the difficulty that you're going through. So it's something that's very, very important for us to do, and it's something that I like to do a lot, uh, is to just be out in nature and to be around positivity and things like that. So yeah, so you know, we have a lot in store. I hope we do. Uh, I'm kind of winging it. I really don't have anything planned just yet on um, what my content's going to be about, but um, we're going to, you know, we're going to keep in touch. So my name is Yana Seashell signing off and I will see you guys later.